Hi again, when you go to buy a car, one of the main criteria you look for is how much gas mileage does this car get? Why, if you ask? Because you fill the gas regularly and you pay for it and of course you see it burn as you go. But why don't we say the same thing about our buildings? Aren't we paying the bills each month and wish it gets less each time? So if you're wondering if there is a system to measure the energy consumption of your building, yes, there is. It's called the energy performance measure. Energy performance is typically measured uh, using variety of indicators like uh, energy consumption uh, and gas emission and resource efficiency. There are several systems that we can use to measure the energy performance of our building, but I'm going to talk about the European one first. Uh, the Energy Performance Certificate, EPC, which is a system that rates a building's energy efficiency uh, from A to G, with A being the most energy efficient and G being the, uh, the least efficient. Uh, buildings rated as A and B are uh, considered to be like high energy efficient and has low energy cost. Um, as an example, most of the municipalities in the UK has a regulation that asks the building to be at least C class on this measurement system. In other European countries, this standard uh, varies. So what is the exact measure of uh, these classes? So as an example here, I'm going to show the values of these classes differs according to the watt per square meter in one year. So it's basically asking you how much energy do you consume to heat and cool each square meter of your building in one year. So for example, if the area of your building is 100 square meters and at the end of the year uh, you combine like how much uh, energy they spent and uh, you get like 6000 kilowatt hour. So when you divide this 6000 to the 100, you get 60 kilowatt hours per square meter in one year. And if you get it back to this schedule here, we can see that it is rated as a C-class building. So this is how we can classify our buildings and we know to what range our building belongs. Uh, the values of this table takes the uh, UK standards, but of course, as we said, it differs from uh, a country to another. So now we understand the energy performance measurement works. We should also know that there are other systems that uh, are used for uh, this measurement. For example, the uh, energy use intensity that is used in the United States is like uh, similar to the uh, European EPC. One very important classification of building classes according to their uh, energy efficiency is LEED. L-E-E-D, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. System based in USA and used globally. In LEED certification system, buildings are rated on a scale of uh, 0 to 100 and the system includes different rating levels such as platinum, gold, silver and bronze. These are somehow like a middle to your building. I'm not sure if you've noticed one before but the buildings that has these rating levels, they have it written on the main facade or like on the entrance of the building that this building is for example certified as LEED gold level and it uses less energy than any other normal building. Of course, for us to improve the energy performance of our building, we can use many of the methods that we mentioned before, and those are classified as passive measures and active measures. In the passive measures, we can say the building form design, the orientation and shape. So we design the building to take advantage of the natural daylight and solar gain, which reduces the need to use artificial lights insulation in the building envelope, using high performance windows and doors, windows that have low U value, and the air sealing of the building to prevent the air leaks and thermal bridges. In the active measurements, we can say using high efficient HVAC systems, using LED lighting instead of the traditional incandescent or fluorescent uh, lights, integrating renewable energy sources in our buildings, such as solar panels or wind turbines, as well as using energy management systems, which might use software that automates the energy use in the building. 